In my previous video, we explored the inner workings of four essential network protocols, IP, TCP, UDP, and HTTP. But there is another unsung hero working behind the scenes to make it all happen, the domain name system, or the DNS. DNS is internet's directory, like a database. It translates human-readable domain names, such as www.youtube.com, to a machine-readable IP address. DNS can be quite confusing because there are various types of DNS servers within the DNS hierarchy, each serving a unique function. We know every device on the internet has a unique IP address that looks something like this. But who wants to remember a string of numbers every time they want to visit a website? That's where domain names come in. They are human-friendly names for websites like youtube.com. So when you type a domain name into your browser, the DNS server figures out the corresponding IP address and directs your request to the right server. DNS server sits between you and the YouTube server. And once you get the IP address, only then you can search and watch ByteMonk videos on YouTube server. So the main functionality that DNS provides is the huge database it holds, which converts DNS names to IP addresses. Now it might appear that all DNS does is maintain a database filled with many names and IP addresses but it's not that easy to set up and manage DNS. Nearly everyone who uses the internet globally relies on DNS, creating a massive and ever-increasing load on the system. VeriSign manages and maintains the database of all registered domain names. As per them, to date, there are more than 350 million domain names registered around the world. And each of those domains might have tens, hundreds, or even thousands of other DNS records. Clearly, Relying on a single server for all requests would quickly overwhelm it. Moreover, malicious actors can easily target the DNS server infrastructure, disrupting its ability to respond to our queries. Which is why DNS is a distributed system of servers spread across the globe. So, when your browser makes a DNS query, it contacts a DNS resolver. This resolver can be provided by your ISP or internet service provider. Or by a popular DNS provider such as Cloudflare or Google. If the DNS resolver does not have the answer on its cache, it finds the right authoritative name server and asks it. The authoritative name server is the one that holds the answer. The interesting part of the DNS system lies in how the resolver locates the authoritative name server. Essentially, there are three main levels of DNS servers. Root name servers, top level domain or TLD name servers, and authoritative name servers. Now, Name servers are specific type of servers with a specific job. In this case, resolving domain names into IP addresses. They aren't designed to host websites, store files, or run applications like other servers might. The term name server helps to clarify this distinct role within the DNS system. There are 13 root name servers globally, and they form the foundation of the DNS hierarchy. Anytime you do a DNS query, you will get routed to the one that is closest to your location. Root name servers store the IP addresses of the TLD name servers. And TLD name servers store the IP addresses of the authoritative name servers for all the domains under them. Authoritative name servers are the final source of truth for DNS records related to a specific domain. They hold the most up-to-date and accurate information about the IP addresses associated with the domain's subdomain. Here is a step-by-step -step breakdown of typical DNS query and how DNS lookup works. You type a domain name youtube.com into your browser. The browser checks its cache for the IP address. If not found, it checks the operating system, router, and even the ISP's DNS cache in sequence. If the ISP's DNS server don't have the IP address, they query the root DNS servers. The root name servers direct the query to the top-level domain name servers, for example, .com. TLD name servers are responsible for the top-level domains like .com, .org, etc. And they direct the query to the authoritative DNS servers for the domain. Authoritative servers are the final source of truth for a particular domain. They return the IP address for that domain. And finally, the browser receives the IP address and connects to YouTube server for you to watch this video.